Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I've just got a bit of a haul. Smiths, I've done sort of like a, I don't even know what they call it, like a little party thing for kids this morning. So you've got your like face painting, DJing, um, then we've got like a little mini giveaway, you could win up to £150 in vouchers to spend in there. Um, and in the giveaway you've got a Smiths book, catalogue, a mini brands thing and a FIFA World Cup sticker album. Um, just going to show you some of the bits that I've picked up for Christmas for my daughter and an item for me off my fella for our anniversary. Which I'll show you first because I'm really excited about it. I don't know if any of you used to like play the really old consoles in GTA but my favourite is Vice City. Now this one, oh, there you go. This one, you've got your, your number three, your Vice City and your San Andreas, which are your most common popular ones, to be fair. I mean, I did sort of say to my father in the middle of Smith's, like, oh my God, I can smack a prostitute, a prostitute up. Quietly, you know. I love Vice City. When they were just rolling around, you get out your car, you know, whack them with a bat. anger issues growing up hi <laughs> i used to love it i did you used to know all the cheat codes and everything get your little jet, jet packs and everything dress up as alvis presley make everyone appear as alvis presley you know but yeah um i absolutely love gta you can't beat vice city in my opinion and i say san andreas is next but i don't know if anyone else has got a different opinion on that some people might prefer getting tattoos and smacking a prostitute up. Who knows? <laughs> if you want to completely unsubscribe from the channel, by all means do so. <laughs> just a disclaimer though, it is just a game. I'm not actually going around whacking prostitutes in the streets. Just a small disclaimer for you. I mean, I'm not being funny, but I'll probably get my arse handed to me. Um, another thing I have got. Now, my daughter's very indecisive. She doesn't actually know what she wants. And not that she's spoiled, but she has pretty much everything, to be fair. So it's sort of hard to sort of get her things that she actually wants unless they're like new product, products that come out or things she hasn't had previously. Now, she has got pretty much every single thing Paw Patrol in creation. And I'm not even joking you. She's got the massive towers. She's had the mini sets. She's got every single character. She's got all the cars. She's got a Paw Patrol mat. She's absolutely got everything. So she saw this advent calendar for, I think it was $24.99 in Smith's. But next to it was something different. And she's been asking for this, to be fair. Well, not for the advent calendar, but for this brand for quite a while. So you've got Barbie Dreamtopia. So you get a doll on Christmas Eve. And then all your presents every day. So on the back it'll show you. So obviously you've got your Barbie, which you get on Christmas Eve. But then you get collect all these accessories until you get the doll on Christmas Eve. Now last year in Primark they'd got, it was like a charm bracelet advent calendar. So for your first day you got the bracelet. But every other day, up until Christmas Eve, you got an extra, like, sort of clip-on charm for it. So you had, like, 23 charms on this little tiny bracelet. So she had one of them. And that was only £6 out of Primark. I don't know if they're doing them this year. Might actually go and have a browse or something tomorrow, to be fair. Today is Saturday. You probably won't see this until tomorrow night, though, because I've already got a video scheduled and planned for then. Um, but yeah, it's not bad, is it? This was, I think, nineteen ninety nine. This advent calendar, so it's actually cheaper than the Paw Patrol one. 
and yeah she really wanted this doll so yeah it's not bad is he to be fair because these barbie dolls are about not like 20 quid themselves some of them aren't they so and she really liked the fact that you got like a little mermaid tail to put on her because she's also asked for one of them barbie mermaidy doll things uh, on while we're on the subject of advent calendars before we actually knew which calendar she wanted well we didn't really we went and smiths to be fair just for this sort of pace fa pace fainting face painting um but they'd got all sorts but they haven't got this one now this one was in my mum's works for nine pound and with a discount it cost eight pound ten and she does something called asda rewards now asda rewards is a thing where you buy a certain shopping each week you hit targets and you get money back so she's basically used the uh, money back off that. So this is basically free. Um, yeah. And she's, ever since we've been to Chessington, she's been on the Gruffalo ride. She's sort of obsessed with the Gruffalo. So she really wanted this Gruffalo Advent Boot Collection. Obviously you get a boot every day for 24 days. She had these last year as well, but the Disney Princess and the normal Disney ones. I mean, she's got so many books, to be fair. I don't even know where we're going to put them, but that's a, another idea. Because sometimes, you know, as parents, you don't always want your kids just having chocolate calendars, do you? You know, I know that it's sort of a tradition, but ever since, she's probably about two, to be fair, we just sort of got her the things that she could play with. So... She's had like Peppa Pig advent calendars. She wanted a Pokemon one, I think. I don't think she had one though. Um, but yeah, that's basically, she, we either get her a book one or a thingy one. But obviously my mum's got this one. We've got the Barbie one and she's got some chocolate ones, which don't go out of date until 2023. And they were 10p each. I'll go show them actually, two seconds. Back. Yeah, so call me a cheapskate, but it being um, I think it was about a month after Christmas, they got like a massive trolley filled with all sorts of advent calendars for 10p. And if you look at the bottom, they don't actually go out of date until January anyway. So they'd be perfectly fine. They're perfectly edible, you know, they aren't, the, well, the best before dates really, aren't they? So. Yeah, so I've pretty much got one of each because I don't think she'll be having all of them. We'll probably give some to her cousin and that. Uh, but yeah, these have all got the exact same date on, I think. Yeah. So you've got Paw Patrol, Peppa Pig, My Little Pony, Barbie, you know. So all them cost me 40 pence like a month after Christmas. Which is really good to be fair. Um, a couple of things she has asked for is I don't know if any of you heard of Kindy Kids. So these dolls, now they're normally about £25 roughly. You can get them on offer for 20 if you're really looking for, for offers. Um, or. Well, to be fair, some of them I've seen go for even more expensive. Now, the only one of these she's got is the tiara one. I don't know if it's tiara sprinkles or something like that. But this one is very delish. And she hasn't got this one. She, the only thing Kindy Kids she's got is the tiara sprinkles doll. So it's a similar one to this, except she's got like blonde hair in a purple outfit. Um, I think I got that for about 15 quid, you know. Um, but yeah, well she goes, oh, your item's cheaper than what it says. So this is, this was on the clearance section. Only last one there, I thought, do you know what, for 15 quid, just to put from one side, it's an extra little bit of something, you know, because I'm not being fun. Oh, for these bloody toys now, you're talking at least 20, 30 quid for each, just these little crappy toys now, aren't you? 
I mean, bloody magazines and shops, you're talking bloody six to ten quid now. It's ridiculous. But this one, yeah, she was like, oh, it's even cheaper than the price. Me thinking, oh, it's going to be like 12 99 10 you know. Two seconds on you. Yeah. So I'm thinking, oh, it's going to be cheaper than the price. And, uh, oh, it's 14 Hello, guys. Hardly a Hello, discount to this. She's making a wish list. Because... We aren't sending enough to Santa, are we? No. See you later. That was beautiful. Yeah. Let me know it then. Are you going to send her the giant <coughs> suit? Oh, yeah. These do you've got these dolls, babe. You've got the bikes. No, I want this, these sandals. The what? I want them sandals. Sandals? No, standards. Standards? Yeah. Oh, they're called standees? Yeah. 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 We'll have to have a look. You want a dream tent? Yeah. LOL surprise. Born to travel game. Yeah. That's not out yet. That doesn't come out till October. I know. You wouldn't think she was four, would you? What's this See one? my face paint. Oh yeah, you've been Smiths, aren't you? Yeah. Oh, I don't want this at all. No. <laughs> Be careful, you could get a fall. Yeah. And put them back there. Yeah? Yeah. So yeah. you're going to go do daddy's then? Mm. Oh, you need to change your mind on that one. What? You change your mind. To do dad's. Oh, okay. Why don't you go do dad's then? Uh, but you have to put this in every place. Yes, I'll do it after mummy's finished the video, yeah? Okay. So, yeah, guys, um, $14.99 is a bargain price. Uh, then, the last thing that I've got to show you, she's been asking for for a while. So, my brother, the, there's half an age gap between me and my brother. So I'm the oldest and he's the youngest. Um, but when Skal was born, he was about 12. So some of his stuff sort of came over to Skylar and, well, came over to my daughter. Now, she's been asking, cause she had the kiddie Zoom thing set. Um, it's blue. You know, I don't care what colour they are, as long as she has one. Like I said, she's got all these Paw Patrol toys, she's got a doll, she's got whatever, you know. I'm not very gender, oh, you can only play with this if you're whatever. I'm very open. I let my child play with whatever she wants to, whatever her imagination is going to work best with. But she's been asking for an LOL surprised digital action camera where you can take pictures and that because her other one's broke and she had like the watch so the next thing that we need to get is the watch but obviously as you can see you know this was 30 quid alone this game was 40 quid so that's 70 pound just there and it's quite quite expensive isn't it you know so we'll, we'll probably just get the rest next month we because we go on holiday next month as well so you know pennies are tight right now but this it was, it was on like the little clearance bit where I got the Kinder Kid, which normally means if these are there at the price that they're currently at, which isn't a reduced price, but it also means that they aren't having them back in. That's through past experience from what I've experienced in other years. Now, there was two of these, two or three of these left on the side. So I said to me fella, I said, we're best getting one of these now before they haven't got them because she'll be disappointed, do you know what I mean? But, um, so you get, it's a 2.0 megapixels camera, you get a HD video recorder, it includes an SD card, which is bloody brilliant really, isn't it? An LED flash, and it's got full colour screen, you can store over 500 photos. So yeah, you know, I think this is perfect for what she was after. Uh, she, like I said, she has asked for the watch to go along with it.
because her dad's got an Apple Watch, so obviously I think she wants to match Daddy. Um, sorry, but that's the other other thing that she's asked for. Uh, the only other thing that she seemed to ask for is this Gabby's dollhouse. I don't know if any of you have seen it, but it's a thing on Netflix where you can watch Gabby's dollhouse. Um, <clears throat> My mum's already brought her £100 worth of this stuff. So my fella's just looking to get the dollhouse for her now. Um, and yeah, we'll probably just sort of get the rest of the little bits and bobs for it. Because there isn't many other sets to be fair. Mum's brought all like, the big sets for her. Um, she's brought her the large plush of the cat. Um, and there's like a little... There's like a character set which you can buy. And she's brought her that. Um, sorry, McDonald's is next door to uh, Smith's. So I had a cheeky breakfast with me, me wins. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. I've got nothing else in, in my pumpkin bag to show you. I just thought I'd come on, have a little conversation with you, show you some bits that I've got to put to one side. And yeah. I hope you did enjoy this video. If you do like my content, please consider subscribing. I'll see you all in the next one. Bye, guys.